Okay, so the term has been processed, the first season, and I'm back with the update on how we are doing. Now the first thing is that you will see here uh, the screen that you already saw when we started, but there are no major changes that are taking place. However, these news are as well very important. They tell you that our credit rating has been upgraded, that's because we are not expending any money and actually repaying our debt, which is a logical step. So now our credit rating is AA. I don't know how Ghana is doing, but AA seems pretty high for an African country, but you know, better for us uh, than for others. Now we are having a small surplus of 1.67 billion Ghana city. The polls report around 3% of the people would vote for us and the rural alliance have warned that many farmers and rural citizens feel that they have nothing to lose. Okay, so this is important for us. Yes, you can see that the membership in many of the parties has uh, rapidly increased from last term, but it's normal because uh, we are starting the game. So, uh, now, uh, now that you know you saw the first episode, you know basically what uh, the game is like and we can speed up a bit. Now, we have introduced the Gender Discrimination Act, uh, we did the agro-dealer network and uh, we banned the genital mutilation. You can see that our political capital is now 48, which is uh, more than enough to get rid of uh, the worst thing that uh, the liberals are frowning upon, which is the minority sexualities that we spoke about last time. Now we can go really to the positive action because the conservatives would go apeshit and the religious as well. And we really are going for the middle ground here. So I guess this is optimal. Legalize, uh, religious will be a bit paced. Conservatives would still be happy. But liberals and democracy would no longer be hurt. So this is gonna take uh, 30 out of our political capital. Uh, the budget cost is really not important for this case. So to buy it, yes, uh, that took away a chunk of our capital, but we still have 18 left. So let's look at what else we can do. Now you will notice that uh, this entire, like, red mark is empty. It's showing that, yeah, the current is minus 40%, but the final is minus 48, and it's gonna change immediately. There is no implementation for this um, thing. So immediately next time we should see a huge bump. Um, we should... S okay, the Gender Discrimination Act is going to make a difference in eight turns. That's good. But the percentage of conservative people, religious and education is uh, making the gender inequality a really a bummer. How is the education really bad? Really bad. Gender inequality is, yeah, this is a uh, circular uh, causation. Inequality is causing worse education and worse education is causing inequality. We have child labor, common. Okay, what if we went with... How is... Banned... Okay, Banned would take... Furley... Political capital from us. It would make... Poor... Hate us more. Ruler hate us more. Legal. You know, it doesn't really matter for us because we don't have the political capital that uh, it would take. But still something to think about. What about... I think that the environmentalists have quite a lot to say here about the pollution. Can we introduce something to fight the pollution? We could also introduce something good for everyone, like the agriculture subsidies. I think this might help a lot because it's gonna develop uh, the ruler area of our state. Mm, but there was something else that's really popular and really easy, which is the public libraries. Everyone appreciates it. 
And it helps a lot of things. We could... No, we don't have enough. How much do we have? 18. So we can either introduce youth crop subsidies this turn, which is good. Uh, but that fights crime and helps youth. I don't think, though, that it would be really good for us at this point. Youth don't really care about us much. Liberals do, though. Armed police are really pissed. We need to find something that would make them happier. Environmentalists, uh, they're not that mad. They could be madder, but we could introduce something for them to be at least slightly more tolerant of us. Uh, state housing, no, nothing here. Economy, clean energy subsidies help. And they're cheap. We could do this one. This one would make them happy. And it's not that expensive. Uh, okay, well, if we introduce this one, there's also community policing, which can be really expensive, but I think that one would help greatly. So let's introduce community policing. I like that one because it basically uh, reduces crime, violent crime, and racial tensions, and it helps liberals. Unfortunately, it also increases liberalism, but even at the lowest setting, it just uh, makes crime less prevalent. If we want a maximum, that's quite a lot of strain on our budget. I'd much rather have it like... If we're gonna lower crime, that's important for us. So let's go with 500 million? How much would that have of an effect? If we went with 800 million... Racial tensions. You know what? Let's go with 300. 400 million. That seems pretty good. How long is the implementation? Five turns. Okay. So it's gonna take some time, but lowering crime is always good. You don't want to rule a nation that's not generally safe. Okay, I can't go exactly 500 million, it seems. Oh, I was there. Okay, 500 million. Let's apply it. And we'll also go with the clean energy subsidies. Yeah, that helps the environment greatly. Also helps the energy efficiency and environmentalists are greatly uh, pro this. Capitalists hate it. Uh, it increases CO2 emission. No, it decreases CO2 emissions uh, and the power blackouts, which is good because we need that. This is really not that expensive, and it's gonna help the environment a lot. So it's applied. We can spend some money. I think we spend like a billion now. We still have 15 political capital. So we could ideally either introduce the youth club subsidies or the public libraries. Or there's an open plan government office, which, yeah, the liberals like it. So let's go with it. In all offices, it decreases corruption greatly, but state employees hate it, and we don't really care. So let's do that. And something else for the Race Discrimination Act. Do we have a problem with racism? I don't think so. Not really. Yeah, I think minorities are pissed a bit, but nothing major. So we don't need that yet. The freedom of information would mean good. It's really cheap, and I think they would like it, but I still much rather have the youth club subsidies. So let's go with that. Parents will enjoy it, socialists will enjoy it, and it decreases crime even more. Youth like it, and it increases the income of youth. Now yeah, let's go max on this one. I think we will still be in a surplus, but much lower than we have now. But it's okay, you know, it's okay. We can deal with a small surplus. That's going to be fine. So we did pretty much all we could, I think, at this point anyway. Uh, let's hope the liberals will like us more. If not, we are dead, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, there's literally nothing we can do now. So let's end the turn and see what we can see. 
So GDP, health, education, nothing really uh, changing. Unemployment still high. Crime is getting lower, but uh, we don't see any movement yet. Poverty is still in the middle. 4% of people will vote for us now. Budget report, we have a surplus of 500 million, which is good. You know, it's uh, about we are spending about 1.1 billion more than we were uh, previous turn. And rural alliance, okay, this is good. Uh, the amount of people in the parties is, uh, you know, the amount of people that join these parties is on a rise, but we have no threats. So this is looking, you know, I don't want to be optimistic, but it's going well. And the liberals don't really hate us. That's good. That's good. Their stance is greatly increasing. Current opinion, very unhappy, but uh, they're trusting us. And yeah, the Queen subsidies will take some time to kick in, but it's going to be good. And the pollution should be increasing. I think the environment, yeah, the Queen energy subsidies are gonna help a lot. Foreign aid received, human development index. How are the Patriots seeing us? Where are they? Ethnic minority, socialist patriots. Well, there's not that many. There's actually one thing that we could do. Uh, when we look at uh, the income, uh, where is sales tax? Okay. I don't even see the foreign aid here. I guess we're not getting any. At this point, foreign aid received. Causes. I okay, okay, I get it. It's not coming into your budget directly. I wasn't sure about that, but now I am. It's going directly into different um, areas in your country, like it's reducing poverty, increasing the environment and agriculture efficiency, and other things. Okay. Anyway, now that we're taking care of the liberals, uh, this problem should be should take care of its own eventually. Uh, we should look into other things than are pissing people off. Homelessness is a huge problem. Wait, no, homelessness. We have that as a big problem too. A huge unemployment. GDP, okay, we have very low GDP, which is because we are a technology backwater and we have uncompetitive economy. How is the corporate corporation tax? It's very high, 10 billion. It's great to increasing the uncompetitive economy. Capitalists hate it, wealthy hate it, self-important GDP is being hurt. If we lowered it to a minimum, it wouldn't really help. It just helps the capitalists and the wealthy, but GDP isn't really affected. Though uncompetitive economy would go away. How bad is the uncompetitive economy for the GDP? Greatly bad. Gender inequality, skills shortage, horror blackouts. Okay, but you know, it's, it, there, it has bigger problems than the uncompetitive economy. For example, skills shortage is way worse for us. So what I think we should do is look at the education side of things. We have some spare income to spend. So we could look into those public libraries. Now, public libraries increase everything even when they are greatly underfunded look look at this this is 666 million is helping education equality and elderly if you put it on max it gives you this amount but even if you lower it to a minimum it still gives you a lot of things so we're gonna go with a minimum for now because we don't have the money uh, but it is you know a very noticeable investment into our education now we could petition for an aid. Uh, this one is expensive though, but it helps with everything. However, it pisses off patriots greatly. Now what about the environmentalist? 
That could be something we could do for them because they, they are a really big uh, amount of people. Ruber likes us now, uh, but the environment is really suffering, so we could do something more for it. Recycling, for example, would help. Pollution control, too. And I think... I guess we're gonna go with agriculture subsidies. Uh, we have how much? We want 400 million to spend. Is there anything better than we could do? This helps GDP greater, but I don't think there is really... You know, any need to help the GDP when we still have massive problems. We should first fix the problems that we have and then try to increase whatever we're dealing with here. Government Code of Conduct. Penny Code of Conduct for Government Officials. This is a crucial, crucial tool to combat corruption. Expectations for officials' behavior must be formalized. Guidelines in place. Enforcement can fall to eliminate abuse of power. Okay, Race Discrimination Act would make... Okay, let's go with this. Liberals and ethnic minorities will like it. Racial tensions will go down and conservatives... I'm not get pissed, bro. If we go... Like this, it should be okay. It helps ethnic minorities and liberals, so I'm gonna go with it. Uh, that's just another small nudge in the right direction. Now, agricultural land tenure. I think this helps, but I think it hurts the environment. Promotes development of land and investment in farming infrastructure. The longer the land tenure is issued, the more secure farmers feel and the higher their investment will be. And that has a lot of, yeah, 12 quarters. Telecommuting initiative. This helps. The environment a bit. Biofuel car emission limits. So that's very expensive. Now you know what? Let's go with oh, let's go with pollution control. Okay, this hurts GDP but helps the environment and makes the environmentalists happy. I'm gonna go with a minimum here, I guess. We can't hurt the GDP more. So let's go with something like this. Capitals won't be that pissed. They will be pissed anyway, so let's go like this. We will hurt the GDP a bit. Minus 0.3%. But the environment is gonna get a boost of almost 10%. Uh, environmentalists will be happier. And they will become even more happy because the environment will improve. Because we will direct to improve the environment CO2 emissions will go down and pollution will dissipate. So let's do that. And we still have 11 political capital though. I don't know what to put it in. Family planning, human human rights oversight. Establish a human rights oversight agency. Protect the fundamental rights to which your citizens are entitled by funding domestic monitoring and enforcement officials. I actually don't know what this one does. Uh, but I think it's a good thing for us. There really isn't much else that we would like, so let's check it out. Okay, we can't make it work without pissing off the conservatives. But it increases democracy greatly, which is important for us, so let's do that. I'm a bit Afraid that the conservatives will get pissed, but they have a lot of positive. Yeah, we will need to increase something eventually because they will get more and more pissed. I guess. Okay, now let's check this. This is a decision that you get once or twice. Well, actually, once. I never saw two. So let's say every turn you get um, a decision that affects what your nation is going to be like. Public smoking ban. There are a number of suspected links between smoking and poor health. Pressure groups have called for a ban on all smoking in public as an encouragement to smokers to give up. We can ban public smoking. This is a major step towards cutting the number of people in this country who die from smoking-related illness. 
It is the duty of the state to pass laws like this in the interest of people's health. Or leave law unchanged. It is not the job of the state to tell people how they live their lives. This is a total overreaction and an attack on civil liberties. It's legal to smoke, so you should be free to do so in public. People must be allowed to make their own decisions about how. Uh, well, I tend to go with leaving the law unchanged. If this was like banned in restaurants, it would be for it, but public... Let's leave the law unchanged and see what this does to our nation. So, next turn. Crime is at a historical minimum. Do you see how much we changed it? And we got a superhero who lowers crime and violent crime. News stations are buzzing with reports that a cape man has been seen fighting crime in our cities. Already a number of high-profile arrests have been unofficially attributed to the masked stranger. It's a sign of how bad things have become on our streets and our citizens are turning to superheroes for help. You know, I don't care. We're doing fine. And we still have a huge budget surplus, so I think that the GDP is actually increasing. I'm gonna check it out. The Rural Alliance have warned many farmers and rural citizens feel blah blah blah. Okay, the Women's Society political party is getting weaker. Uh, rural Alliance is getting stronger. And the Human Rights Society is getting stronger. However, everyone else is losing support, which is correct. And we still got a surplus, so our debt is going down. Yep, and it is going down. Uh, oh, the global economy is increasing. Okay, that's pushing our income up a bit. Reserves are increasing. Expenses are increasing as well. But the interest rate went down. Relative GDP is still very down. We'll fix that. You know, trust me. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, conservatives are getting pissed. Liberals, though, are starting to really like us. That's great because they're mostly a pain. And the environmentalists, not much, but it's gonna change. The green subsidies are increasing it. Pollution should be decreasing. Yeah, green energy subsidies should kick in. Same with pollution control. And it will greatly change this. Hopefully a lot. Could we? Yeah, we could um, if we wanted to, but we don't have enough power for that. We could greatly increase the tax without hurting everyone, but lowering the car usage. Where are we at right now? We are at 10% tax. If we increase it to about, which, by the way, I do this a lot. If we increase it to, say, 30%, the effect on GDP is minimal, but the car usage goes down, and we gain a huge amount of money, 4 billion which we could invest into universities and stuff like that. But it costs 36 political capital. We don't have that much. So what we could do... By the way, people are starting to like us. What we could do is just pass a simple small law right now that will not really hurt us. And then next turn, pass an increase in the tax. And you can even have a space program for an investor. Something cheap that we could do now that would make people happy. Adult education subsidies. This is actually really good. 12 over 27, so we would be left with 15. How much do we need to increase the patrol tax? 36. And would be barely enough, but adult education subsidies are great. They are really great. Gambling, agriculture, or land tenure. Maybe this one would be better. Or the subsidies. 15 as well. We got 27. Oh, this, this one is better. Technological colleges are good as well, but Really, first things first, we really need to... Yeah, for example, Rural Development Grants are great. They cost 27, though. 
but we should, you know, this might be one thing that we want to introduce really soon. It's gonna have the environment a lot, and the rural people like us more. Oh, actually, it doesn't help a lot. I think we're gonna introduce recycling. Supporters of recycling argue that dumping waste in landfills just isn't the long-term solution, and the government needs to show the way by providing facilities to recycle as many waste materials as possible. This might include recycling newspapers, cardboard bottles, and even some plastics. This will leave 24 for us. No, 14. And we get what, 27? 27... 27 per turn. 27 per turn. So that would make us 27 plus 14. Yeah, we would have enough. So let's introduce recycling. This is a bit stupid, but we... Yeah, it's gonna help the environment. And the environmentalists. And it basically has no bad effect. You know, just generally a good thing so we really need to do this environmentalists are one of the very important uh, groups in our people you know one of the very important groups in the nation that really hates us the implementation is immediate uh, so this is something that we need to do now and we're gonna save the 14 for next turn when we will increase uh, the petrol tax. I really think that increasing it to something like 30? Yeah, 30 is good. And we get about 4 extra billion. I don't, I don't actually know what we're gonna spend it on. I think things like maximum adult education, maximum faith school subsidies. No way. We could boost some of our expenses, like state health service that makes socialists yeah, but welfare and capitalists would be pissed. No, we need something universal, like state schools, poverty and unemployment. Uh, that doesn't give us actually a lot of effect quickly. Police force, medium, crime, and violent crime, corruption. This would greatly help the conservatives and the state employees. And it lowers corruption, violent crime, and crime. Hmm. I think this might be one of the things that we will want to do. How does six turns? But look at that. We really are starting to have a problem with the conservatives being all pissed. So if we increase the police force funding, they will be happy. So there you have it. We're gonna increase uh, the petrol tax and use the money uh, to boost the effectiveness of police, which will increase uh, or. It will increase the conservatives' opinion of us, the state employees of us, because it's going to lower crime and violent crime. And I don't think that's actually a big problem for us. <laughs> okay, there really is no need to help with that. We are doing great. So I might want to think about something else, but this, this would make the conservatives really happy. I don't think there really is anything else that they might be happy about. So th this might really be one thing that we could cheaply invest in and make sure. Yeah, because th this this pisses off liberals greatly. So I might even go as well and cancel this one though. Forty eight. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I know that would be really expensive. We could c cancel uh, armed police and maybe we could. Oh, yeah, well. No, that's just stupid. Okay, well anyway, we're gonna invest into police more. Not because we have a problem with crime, but be because we need the socialists to like us.